Hey guys, this is me Akash here for Weapon Sharma Biology Tutorials and today I'm going to talk about biodiversity losses. Okay, so we all know about biodiversity and why it's important to us. So now the thing is like due to increased population, urbanization and industrialization and all this stuff, we are tending to lose our biodiversity. What would be the consequence? You'll not be amazed to know that if we lose our biodiversity, the important function it play, played in the as a part of ecosystem all those oxygen production, the material production, stability of an ecosystem will be hampered. So that's why it's important to know what is the leading cause of biodiversity losses. And further, if we know how to, what are the losses which are undergo, which are being undergone through, further we can proceed to know that what are the conservation strategies in which we will be able to conserve our biodiversity. So now in this chapter, we are talking about biodiversity losses. So the first point says is caused by population, urbanization and industrialization. Population of humans are in increasing at an alarming rate. Okay, so our needs are increasing. We are over exploiting it. For fulfilling those needs, we are cutting down trees. We are disturbing the ecosystem. We are like killing plants, animals, species and stuff. We are causing pollution. So population is the basic thing from which all the issues arise so population urbanization urbanization is basically everyone wants to move to cities and have a beautiful life have a luxurious life out there no one wants to live in rural areas and all so we are moving we are migrating towards the cities and urbanization is taking place followed by industrialization our needs are increasing our needs for goods quality goods more and more we need so leading to industrialization industrialization further leading to increase in population level which is further leading to your biodiversity losses so these two three points need to be kept in mind when it comes to biodiversity losses issues so here's an example colonization of tropical pacific island which led to the extinction of more than 2000 species of native birds Okay, so these are just examples to know how the situation is, what the situation is right now. 15,500 species are facing threat all around the world. And these are some kind of figures and facts so that you can be like what the issue is, how big the issue is and how badly it, it's going to impact humans later. Now also it's impacting and later it, the, if the thing continues, if we don't conserve it, it's going to be worse. So loss of biodiversity in an region needs to now the question is what happens if we lose our biodiversity decrease in plant production definitely we'll remove all the plants from that area plant production will definitely go down less resistance to environmental disturbance such as drought we talked about importance of biodiversity in the previous lecture therein i said more species richness is there the more ability of an ecosystem to be stable enough to have uh, to solve the problems of any drought or any other rainfall losses or any issues out there but what would happen if this biodiversity loss is there that function would be hampered right less so the less resistance to any type of environmental dis uh, disturbances will be there increased variability of ecosystem processes like production water use pest and disease cycle all will be a major issue if biodiversity losses take place now the thing is we'll go one by one what are the major root causes of biodiversity losses so the things are habitat loss and fragment over exploitation alien species invasion and co-extinctions so let's talk about habitat loss and fragmentation okay so here's an area in which there were a lot of plants animals everyone left Plants are there, insects are sited in that, all are interconnected. But due to population explosion, your urbanization, industrialization, all these things, we just broke this land down. We removed all the plants to fulfill our needs of timber and like shelter. More and more farmlands are being created, grasslands are being created. So if plants are not there, the flora is not there. So the fauna, the insects, the birds, the well, as all this will not be able to survive since you have since they have no space we have removed their home so biodiversity loss is there so the first point is habitat loss habitat is a place in natural place in which uh, organism live if we just remove that 
the biodiversity would definitely go down. Destruction of habitat is a primary cause of extinction of species. So this is a fact that 14% of tropical rainforest, were uh, the earth was covered by 14%, now it's covered only by 6%. So what happened to the rest? We removed it. We are losing biodiversity out here. Amazon rainforest were known as the lungs of the plants. We know there was a point in importance, oxygen production. So this Amazon rainforest has a lot of trees, so it was known as, it's known as lungs of the planet. A lot amount of oxygen is released, but biodiversity losses are there. We are cutting it down, so this lungs of planet is being hampered. Oxygen levels like is being hampered. Now let's take one more example. So just imagine this is a bigger area. So species one needed this much area to live in. But what happened? We constructed a road in between. Then we digged a canal in between. So when we constructed the road, it was divided into one and two. Now a canal is also out there. So third part, then again we constructed buildings and human settlement. Then it turned to fourth part. So such a big land which uh, a species required is broken down into four five parts mainly because of human settlement buildings digging up of canals and all this stuff so the animals which required larger territories now they are badly affected they are free, they were freely moving earlier they move here and there but due to these constructions and all the survival is being hampered so this i hope this first point is clear what is ha what is habitat loss and what is your fragmentation moving on we'll talk about over exploitation okay so your need is 10 units okay total there are like uh, 20 units but you are taking up 12 units okay so you needed 10 but you are utilizing 12 what is happening you are exploiting two units more than what you needed so this is called over exploitation we want for our fulfilling our needs we just want 10 unit but because of greedy nature and luxurious stuff and all those stuff so we are utilizing more and more so this this is called over exploitation when biological systems are over exploited by man natural resources as a result this leads to degradation and extinction of resources so it's over exploitation Followed by loss of uh, the loss of fragment uh, loss of biodiversity is because of alien species invasion. Okay, so there has an ecosystem species lived in here, but the ecosystem was attacked by some alien species. Now what happened that alien species was harmful to the native one. So when alien species entered the ecosystem, they destroyed the indigenous one, the, the native one which used to live there. So these, this lead to loss of biodiversity. Okay, so some alien species have become invasive and causes maximum harmful impact on indigenous. Indigenous means the species which left there. It uh, has an example introduction of Af African catfish in aquaculture posing threat to existing species of catfish. So some catfishes have lived in Indian rivers. Now we introduce African catfish and African catfish is a kind of like alien species out there in this ecosystem, Indian rivers. And that's posing threat to the yeah uh, to, to the indigenous catfishes. Now the point is co-extinction. Okay, so species A is there, A was there, and species B was dependent on species A. So now what will happen if species A undergo extinction? Species survival of species B will be affected. So this is called co-extinction. Co means together and extinction means like all no loss. Okay, so when a species become, when one species become extinct, the plant and animal associated, which were dependent or somewhat kind related to it, in an obligatory manner becomes extinct. So this is the meaning of co-extinction. So here's an example, if the host fishes dies, the parasites which used to survive over these host fishes will also become extinct. So both go hand in hand, one goes extinct, the other one is associated to it or is dependent on it. So if one goes extinct, the other has to go, it will go extinct. So this is the meaning of co-extinction. 
So that's kind of it guys and I hope this video helped you keep watching Vipin Sharma biology tutorials. Thank you for watching. Thanks.